Now let's go ahead, let's peel off the plastic here. So to start, we're just gonna go off the top here. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the On 22 inch full HD monitor. If you're interested in this monitor or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. It's fairly small and compact for a computer monitor, but that's what you'd expect for a 22 inch monitor. So on the back, we have some quick tech specs here. The screen size is technically 21.45 inches measured diagonally. 1080p for the resolution, so it does have 1920 by 1080 p full HD, one HDMI port, one VGA port. This also is 60 hertz for the refresh rate. We have a Visa mount option if you want to use your own stand, wall mount, desk mount, things like that. 75 by 75 millimeter is the measurement for that. Now let's go ahead, let's get this thing opened up. All right, we gotta cut the tape off right here. Let's see if we can do that. So far, so good. I'm excited to get this thing out of the box. All right, one down. And fail. Two down. All righty. Let's go. This will be fun. What do we got in the box here? All right, nothing else. Ooh. Goody bag, warranty information. What do we got here? One year warranty. Two screws for the stand. Quick start guide. Walking us through everything we need to know from what's in the box, getting to know your monitor, getting started, how to install the base, port connections, you're ready to go. Safety information on the back, some additional details for you, and an HDMI cable, that's nice. What else do we have here? Our power supply and adapter. Our stand. All right, glossy and black. Looks like we have another piece of the stand right here. Super satisfying to always peel off the plastic. I was trying to get some good audio there. That was a fail. And then lastly, we have the monitor itself. Nice little bag here. It's so tiny. All right, there we go. What do we got here? Adjust the monitor to your preferred viewing angle, minus four degrees to 18 degrees for your tilt. We got our menu buttons and controls right here at the bottom. So five different buttons, our power buttons right there. Menu buttons over here, got some arrow directional keys, probably a back button. Here's a look at the side, get a feel for the side profile right here. And the back is curved a little bit. The monitor itself isn't curved, as you can see from the top down view. Here's our Visa mount option. So again, 75 by 75 millimeters, HDMI in, VGA in, and our power port, our DC 12 volt, Kensington security lock. And I'm guessing we're missing maybe a sticker on the back here with additional product info, or maybe some different ports, depending on, I don't know which version you get. I'm not sure why that's there. It's like it's missing a sticker. But yeah, lightweight, so far so good. Now let's go ahead, let's get the stand put on. Stand installation, simple and straightforward. We have two pieces that we have to fasten together with the two included Phillips head screws. It's only gonna fit on one way, so make sure to line everything up. And now we're ready to flip it over and drop the two screws in place right here and then tighten them down with the Phillips head screwdriver. Both screws are tightened down right there. It's not gonna budge or move around. There's no wiggle or anything like that. And now we're ready to snap it in place on the monitor itself. So I'm just gonna hold the monitor up since it's pretty lightweight. Again, this will only fit in one way right here and then watch what happens. So there we go, we just pressed it in. You may notice on the back, we do have a release option right there if you have a small little tool, if you ever need to take the stand 
off, you can do that. But there we go, we have the stand installed. And let's look at our different tilt options here. So there's our 18 degrees and our minus four degrees, or you can land somewhere in between. There's no additional options. There's no height adjustment, swivel or anything else. So if you wanna do that, you're gonna have to put some books underneath and just have to physically move it to the left or to the right, which isn't that big of a deal for a monitor that's this small. But yeah, hey, check that out. We got it unboxed and we got the stand set up. Now let's go ahead, let's peel off the plastic here. So to start, we're just gonna go off the top here. Come down the sides a little bit. And the bottom. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get that whole piece off first. And now, We'll just start on this side. Ooh, that's really strong on there. I thought that covered the whole thing. It does not. Oops. I thought for sure there was plastic over the whole screen. There is not. So there we go. We took off all the plastic. Learn from my mistakes. There is no screen protection on the um, front of this besides just the corner areas. And then we could peel off that sticker. And now it's time to power on our new monitor. So we have the monitor plugged in, powered on. Everything looks great. No dead pixels or anything like that. And I can confirm it is as advertised. 1920 by 1080p full HD at 60 Hertz for our refresh rate. Really quickly, let me pull up the on-screen display and menu. Here it is. We got to press the menu button twice. Here's all the settings we have to control our backlight, contrast, DCR, mode, color temp, aspect, input, adjust. We also have other, and we have overdrive, and then you can exit the menu right there. So this has been our unboxing of the on 22 inch full HD computer monitor. Stay tuned for the full review that will be up on our channel. So be sure to check that out where we'll dive into more details on this monitor.